Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm gonna to be installing this TRQ hub in this two-wheel drive 2008 Chevy Silverado. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna take a pry bar. I'm gonna take this center cap off, this hub cap. Just slide it over. Some models it may be a little bit different. releases like this. There's one more clip over here. Just like that, that comes off. Then I'm gonna take my 22 millimeter socket, take this center cap off. You can also use a 7 8 socket. All right, take that off. I'm gonna take this 22 millimeter socket and a breaker bar, and I'm gonna crack all these lug nuts free before we lift the vehicle. All right, now those are all cracked free. I'm gonna raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stands. that same socket. We'll take these lug nuts off. Sometimes you just spin them off by hand. Take that last lug nut off. Now we'll take the tire off. Next, I'm going to take an 18 millimeter socket. We're going to take these two caliper bracket bolts off. I'm not going to take the caliper off of the bracket. We'll just take those off. And I'll use a breaker bar. We'll crack these free. These are normally on there pretty tight, so use a long breaker bar so you have some leverage. All right, once those are broken free, I'm gonna switch to a ratchet. Take these two bolts out. Take that bolt out, set it aside. that bolt out as well. There is Loctite or thread locker on these bolts. Um, you can use thread locker to reinstall them or if you get new bolts, generally it comes with them. Next, I'm gonna take a straight blade screwdriver. I'm just gonna go in here in between the caliper a little bit and just pry. That's just compressing the piston a little bit. Just do it slowly. And that'll make taking this caliper and bracket off together a little easier. Slide that off. Then I'm gonna take a bungee cord. Slide the 
the bungee cord around the upper control arm and into the bracket for the brakes, for the brake caliper. We'll just let that hang like that. You don't want to put any pressure on the hose. So keep that out of the way. Just like that. Next, we'll take this rotor off, slide it off. If your rotor was stuck on there, you can take a hammer and you can just hit in these locations right here. Be careful not to hit the studs. Slide that off. Next, before we take the bolts out for the hub, we're gonna release the electrical wiring harness for the ABS. Up here there's a connector. Disconnect this electrical connector. There's a little button on top. A little bit hard to get to, so we're going to release this first. Just going to use this little trim tool underneath here. Release the connector. And then to push down on the button, just push that down. Be able to disconnect the connector. Slide this over here. We can use the trim tool again. Slide under here. Pry up on this piece. Pull that out. And then over here as well. Gonna cut it off. Sometimes the rust will cause some issues when you're trying to get these things off. Almost out. There we go. Break that off. That's okay. Next on the back side, there is three 15 millimeter bolts we need to take out. I'm just gonna use a 15 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Take these bolts out. If they're really rusted, use some rust penetrant. These aren't too bad. Take that one out. Just loosen these up. Actually, I'm going to use a breaker bar. Try to break these free first. Those are broken free. Switch back to the ratchet. Take that one out, and then we'll take the other two out, same way. All right, and then take this last one out. Just like that. Now 
Next, uh, this is this isn't too bad. So I'm going to start with just taking a hammer. I'm going to tap it from the back side. Uh, be careful. Once it loosens up, it might fall to the ground. So watch out for your feet. So it's starting to separate a little bit. As you can see, the backing shield is loose. So that's a good sign. So I'm just going to tap it from this side as well. Go back and forth. And there we go. Get it loose. And pull it out. Here's the old hub. Here's the new hub from 1AAuto.com. It's a TRQ hub. The sensor is the same. Backside looks the same. Front studs and everything's machined the same. Get yours from 1AAuto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Before we install the hub, going to take a wire brush. We'll just clean this area out. Get some of that rust off. You could take a die grinder also, It'd be a little bit easier. And then if there's any excessive rust on the backing shield, you can clean that off. This one's not too bad. Now I'll take the new hub, slide the wire harness through the shield, just like that. And then we'll reposition it correct location like that. Take the bolts, slide the bolts into position. You may have to loosen up the hub, pull the hub out a little bit to get the holes to line up. It's a little easier once you get the first bolt started. First bolt is in. Now I'll take the other two bolts, get those started. All right, once those are started, you want to keep in mind, watch out for the ABS harness. You don't want that to get um, tighten down when you're tightening down the hub. Sometimes they get in the way and you can pinch a wire. Now we're going to take our 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and we'll snug these up. those snug. Now I'm going to torque them. I'm going to torque those with a torque wrench to 133 foot pounds. Second one and the last one.
here we go. Next we're going to install the ABS wiring harness. You can slide this connector right into here, this retainer. Make sure it's locked in there good. This one's going to go in this little bracket right there. I'm going to slide this under my bungee cord and then this one's going to go in here just like that. Uh, part of that retainer broke off from before so I'll just take a screwdriver push it down. wire cutters and try to pull it through. There we go. Okay, we'll re-secure this to the frame. Make sure that lines up. That's good, right there. Now we're going to take our rotor before I put it on there. I'm just going to take a wire brush. We're just going to clean any excessive rust buildup on the back side of that because we're reusing this rotor. It looks pretty good. Just make sure none of the rust got on the hub. Slide this rotor on. If you had a bolt that held down the rotor, you're going to want to install that. This vehicle doesn't have one. Just take a one of the um, lug nuts, put that on so it holds the rotor pretty good. Now we'll take the brake caliper off the bungee cord. We'll reinstall that on the rotor. Just like that. Take the two caliper bolts. Get that one started there. If you want to put the, some thread locker on, you can do that. Take an 18 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Start snugging these bolts down. You're going to remember that when you do this job that you're going to want to pump the brake pedal a couple times before you drive away. Even though you didn't do brakes in this job, you did pull the brake caliper off and there is still going to be an air gap there. So pump the brake pedal. All right, those are snug. Now we're going to torque those. Torque those two bolts to 100 and 29 foot-pounds. This top one as well. Just like that. Take our lug nut off. We install the tire. Put the lug 
lug nuts on. Not gonna use uh, lug nuts down. All right, now we're gonna lower the vehicle and torque those lug nuts. Now I'm gonna to torque these with the 22 millimeter socket and the torque wrench to 140 foot pounds. I'm gonna to torque them in a star pattern that tightens the wheel down evenly. Double checking, they're nice and tight. Reposition the center cap. Take the socket, just tighten these down. Take this hubcap, I'm going to line this up with the valve, the tire valve, just push it on. Just like that. Now I'm going to pump the brake pedal um, because there is going to be an air gap between the brake pads and the caliper piston and this will get rid of that air gap so you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.